drown. Hello, hello, hello. It's a rainy day over here where I am. And it's going to be cold. And we might lose power. Yay. Um, so kind, kind of looking for an adventure in weather. <laughs> so I was reading this morning. There's lots of articles out there about self-care happening. I think at the new year, there's this like resolution to take better care of yourself. There's also this cultural shift, I think, with uh, younger adults about like pushing off things that are just uncomfortable and they don't want to do. So I th there's a lot more articles out there about this, or at least maybe I'm looking for them and it's now just hitting my consciousness. One of those, uh, one of those things. But I wanted to talk about real quick about whether you're entitled to things or you feel entitled to things or if you're grateful for things, right? <sighs> So there's a sense of entitlement that comes along with being a human, right? Um, we feel like we're entitled to be talked to respectfully as an adult. We should be uh, honor our space, our personal space around us. Um, so, you know, for instance, like you're going to turn your blinker on and move into a parking space or you're standing in line and somebody kind of tries to cut in line or doesn't mind the line, you know, that there's that sense of entitlement. And it, and it causes some, you know, things that come up. I was in the, the drugstore the other day, and this woman who was very loud and personable, there was four people in the line. She comes in, hey, everybody, hey, everybody, everybody, uh, do you mind? And I was like, yes, I do mind. I just want to ask a question. I was like, yes, I do. I wasn't pushy about it, but I had been waiting like the other folks in line, and she said, uh, uh, I just need to ask a question. And she asked what we were all standing in line to ask, was my prescription ready? <sighs> was I entitled to be the next person up at the counter? She proceeded to ask more questions and then get her prescription handed to her. Uh, so I was stewing. I didn't like that. Um, and she turned around and said, sorry, everybody, I didn't mean to. And I'm not going to let it go. I said, yes, you did mean to. She laughed it off and went about her day. So entitled. Was I entitled to be there next? Was she entitled to go up and just skip the line? I had a lot of feelings going on at that moment. Uh, I could have raised a bigger stink. I could have pointed out. I think everybody in the line felt the same way, but I didn't. Um, I've been sitting with that for a little while, trying to figure out what that's about. But I am grateful that I was inside, in line, and that I was able to conduct my business and go about my day. Think about it as getting bigger problems, right? I was grateful for other things. Um, I was grateful that I didn't cause a scene. <laughs> I was grateful that I didn't, uh, you know, make a big stink about it. Um, and really, what did it hurt me? You know, I, I had to wrestle with this a lot. This is just something that's just been kicking around in me. And so um, tell me what you think. How would you have reacted? Because ultimately, we want to get better, bigger problems. And that was one of those problems where it's like, well, I ended up getting what I needed. So it wasn't a big deal. Um, was I entitled? Um, sort of this societal contract that we have about standing in line and being next, served next, and acting a certain way. Is that entitlement? I don't know. So... Entitled or grateful? How are you feeling today? Are you entitled to what it is, the, the work that is supposed to come in the door? Are you entitled to uh, be told some event is happening before it happens? Are you entitled to know something first before somebody else is there a pecking order? Are you grateful? Are you grateful that the news is good? Are you grateful that you've been included in the news? Are you grateful for being able to be a part of something. That's a tricky one. Entitled or grateful? Think about it. Do some self-reflection. Hope you have a good day.